Hello everyone, today I'm going to be reviewing the Mixed Berry Flavored Cocaine Energy Drink. Now, I'm not personally the biggest fan of berry flavored energy drinks or just berry flavored drinks in general. I feel like it's a very hard flavor to get properly where it's not just a smorgasbord of random berry flavors, but I have decently high hopes for this. Now, cocaine also does come in a peach mango flavor which I also own and I'm gonna do a review on that soon so make sure to subscribe so you can see that. The mixed berry flavor of cocaine comes in a 12 ounce can which in my opinion is a little bit small. I would have preferred a 16 ounce can in my opinion that's the best way to get the most flavor and the most taste out of it but I can respect a 12 ounce can it's the same size as your average Red Bull. Speaking of the can I think it's a good time to take a look at the can the majority of the can is very minimalistic. It's a nice blue color with just the cocaine logo on it, obviously done in a powdery way to look like, you know, you, you know what it's trying to look like. The can feel itself, it's a very plasticky, very cheap feel. It's almost slightly sticky. It feels like there was some sort of finish put on to the actual covering. And I'm gonna be honest, I'm not the biggest fan of it. Interestingly, the cocaine line of energy drinks was once banned by the FCC. And that's because people thought that it might actually have the drug in it. So in order to get unbanned, they had to put this somewhat humorous label on the side, which I'm gonna read out now. Warning, this message is for the people who are too stupid to realize the obvious. This product does not contain the drug cocaine. This product is not intended to be an alternative to the illicit street drug, and anyone who thinks otherwise is an idiot. Clearly it was unbanned and is now available on Amazon as well as I think a number of online retailers. The can of cocaine has 18 grams of sugar as well as 280 milligrams of caffeine, which is actually an absurd amount. To put that into perspective, another 12 ounce can, the Alani News have 200 milligrams of caffeine, and then on the lower end, the Aspire cans happen to have 80 milligrams of caffeine, which is the same as your average Red Bull. I am also going to do a review of these two cans, so subscribe if you're interested in that. I'm trying to get to 100 subscribers by the end of the month, so if you could subscribe, it would really help me hit that goal. A can of cocaine has 90 calories in it, as well as 100% of your daily value of vitamin C, 300% of your daily value of vitamin B6, and 600% of your daily vitamin of B12. You know what else is inside of this can? The actual drink, so I feel like we should pop it open and give it a taste test. So I'm gonna give it just a quick smell before I taste it out. It's a very faint berry smell. It's barely noticeable whatsoever, but it definitely does smell like berries. So I poured a little bit of it out so you can see the color as you can see here. Let me hold it up to the camera. It is a pinky orangish color. I don't know how well that shows up on camera, but I think there's nothing more to do but to just take a sip so here's the taste test of cocaine so you immediately get hit with a kiwi flavor i think that's really the big flavor in it it's an extremely strong very sweet flavor it's what you'd expect from a drink with sugar it also has i'd say a high amount of carbonation it pretty much hits you like a truck with all the bubbles but overall it's a mediocre flavor I wouldn't say it's absolutely fantastic. I think I've definitely had better berry flavors, but it's way better than the majority of berry flavors that I've had throughout my day. I'd have to give it maybe a seven. You know, as I said, it's not the greatest, but it's not the worst. I would drink this, I just wouldn't seek it out. That's gonna be the end of the video. If you enjoyed, if you could hit that subscribe button, it would be huge. As I said before, I'm trying to get to 100 subscribers by the end of the month. So if you could subscribe there, it would be insanely helpful. And I'll see you guys in the next one. Bye.